More insight on the reaction to this terrible act. Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Bob Corker joins us tonight from Capitol Hill. Senator Corker is one of the few lawmakers to meet with King Abdullah from Jordan today. Senator, thanks for the time. Brett, good to be with you. Thank Let you. me ask you first about that meeting, what the King said. It was obviously as this video had just come out. Yeah. And what is he asking of the U.S.? You know, uh, he wasn't here asking the U.S. He was... Uh, uh, as always, uh, talking about uh, what we need to do in the region. He uh, is a great friend of the United States. He's been someone who's tried to bring the Arab community together against this. Um, obviously, what he showed was tremendous resolve, and there were questions about unity inside the country, and I think you just reported this. If anything, this act will greatly further unify the country against ISIS and these uh, despicable acts uh, that they're carrying out. So uh, I think that uh, the, the reaction is going to be one of greater resolve against what ISIS is doing in the region. Does this senator increase the need for an authorization of force against ISIS? And at what point does Congress just move forward with that yeah. before the administration moves forward with it? So, Brad, I think something's coming forward soon. Uh, I really do think it's within the next week or two at the latest. Uh, and the fact is that, you know, this was being characterized as an authorization for the use of force in Iraq and Syria. But we now know that ISIS is in eight other countries beyond that. So, you know, the fact is, uh, um, I think there's going to be, there will be an AUMF. It will be one that I think the White House authors and sends over asking for an authorization. And hopefully it's something we will move through very quickly. Jordan's in a unique position. Obviously, it is surrounded uh, by the Islamic State, essentially. And uh, the king, as you look at a map, I mean, it is a dangerous part of the it world. Uh, Senator, is, is Jordan in serious trouble tonight? So look, uh, there, look. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, there have been reporting of some of the tribes being concerned about what was happening. Uh, look, Jordan is in a is in the middle of uh, all the trouble. They have tremendous amounts of refugees. I've been there twice to look at the numbers of refugees that they've taken in. Their water supplies are low. Uh, they have all kinds of issues to deal with internally. Not to speak of this external issue. I don't think they're in trouble, but they're certainly a country that we need to support strongly and there's there are little things that we can do to certainly expedite their ability to have the kind of military hardware that they need uh, they certainly are going to be taking it more so to ISIS uh, certainly in the coming days and weeks but uh, they're an ally that is important to the region that is constantly uh, working with us and working with other countries in the region to solve problems and we need to make sure that they stay healthy you know senator this has been a long time coming we've watched this again and again and obviously this video may backfire on ISIS and unified Jordan, but it also may inflame the region even further. Uh, are, is the U.S. doing enough? Could we be doing more to well, help? I yeah, I think we could be doing more, and I think when the AUMF comes up, there'll be a great focus, uh, Brett, on two words. One word is degrade, the other is destroy, and I think there's a concern right now that the United States is spending way too much time on the degrade part. In some ways, you might call it uh, containment. Uh, and I think there's a concern that this spreads. The other thing that's going to be happening, Brett, while this certainly will unify Jordan, and hopefully unify some of the other countries in the region that are affected. What ISIS will be able to do because of what they just showed on, what was just shown on your program and what they're showing on the internet, they're going to be able to rec recruit even more people from countries like our own, but other countries around the world. So their recruitment will probably go up. And secondly, they're going to be calling for people to take these kinds of acts, not exactly the one that was just shown, but terrorist acts people that cannot go to Syria, people that cannot go to the region, they will be calling upon them to carry out acts in countries like our own. So we have to be even more vigilant there, but we also have to be vigilant here. We need to make sure that our intelligence services and all those who protect our homeland have all the resources necessary to protect us while we're trying to deal with them in other areas. Last thing, Senator, is there an overall strategy here? for dealing with ISIS in Syria and Iraq. Is there a, a broad strategy, or do you think that uh, this administration yeah. has, has left that? So look, there's obviously more of a strategy in Iraq because there's more to work with. You have the Iraqi military, you have the Kurds, you have the Shia militias. There's a development of a National Guard proposal that's taking place. 
What we're missing in Syria and what we've been saying from day one is we, we don't have the ability to deal with the ground. The Syrian opposition, the Syrian rebels that we were to support and never really supported in the way we should have been barrel bombed by, by the administration. And so we're actually losing them more quickly than we can train them in sites uh, around the area. So what we're missing at the moment is an effective way of dealing with them on the ground. If you look at Kobani, uh, most of our airstrikes took place in Kobani, and it, yet it took four months to move ISIS out of that area. So we've got to figure out a way. And let me say this, the Arab community, hopefully in watching this and seeing what is happening in their own area, they've got to be a part of that. It's got to be them on the ground. And certainly I think there are ways that we can extend and cause what's happening on the ground to be far more effective. Senator, I assume you've seen the video or at least some of the images. Um, last thing, I mean, your personal reaction to seeing this. Uh, to be candid, I have not seen it. Uh, I'm looking through this camera. You're showing it right now. I've been in meetings all day. As soon as I get back to my office, I will see it. But I've heard the, the physical description of what happened. It is, it is not human. We are dealing with people that, uh, as far as depravity, are, are, we're talking about the kind of things that happened back in 1945. And we, as a civilized world, have got to come together and deal together and deal with this. And one of the things, Brett, has got to be calling upon Islamic religious leaders to talk about how despicable this is and to take it on internally in their own communities. Senator Corker, thank you for your time tonight. Thank you. Yes, sir.